spend the day with me as I prepare to get my body and life back in order. Obviously, I mentioned in my nose job vlog that I've been severely bloated ever since my surgery, which is very normal. Ow. When you've had anesthesia, antibiotics, if you've got a weak gut like me, as well as the fluid IV drips that you're given. I was, <laughs> I was on so many drips that day that I literally came home six months pregnant so now i'm gonna go do a very special lymphatic drainage obviously at biolite which is important for post-operative care we have the flavia morilato lymphatic drainage method at biolite flavia is insane she is literally she's literally the misuse celebrities like victoria beckham rosie huntington whiteley however we've got one of her girls out in dubai and she is permanently in dubai so she's going to be doing my massage she does my massage once a week i like doing these because it just makes me feel good and honestly i feel so light but today we're doing the special technique which is designed for post-operative care as you guys can see i'm like super bloated like this is not what i usually look like okay this is what my state is right now two three days ago i genuinely looked six months pregnant my stomach was out here and it was hard it was ugh. okay i'm definitely less bloated than when i came in but still not back to my full full form, which is completely normal. I'm gonna come back in a few days and do another drainage. Just peed, and now I'm gonna go sort out this hair. Finally get my nails done, get ready to go out tonight. Is she going out six days post-op? Yes. I'm convinced I have the worst luck. But I'm gonna stop telling myself that because I wanna be like, oh, I'm in my lucky girl era. Okay, so the place I came to today is not the usual place I go to get my nails done or my hair for that matter. I've done my hair here once. It was, it was honestly awful. Really and truly, I could have just done my own hair at home, but I can't because I can't get my bandage wet and all the other salons that I usually go to are fully booked. I did not think about this properly. However, I am so sorry. Wait, I need to turn this off. Why is this so loud? This is by far the worst manicure I've ever had in my life. I get it, my nails are short, but like, um, ma'am, why, why are they so thick? And why are they all on my, why is the paint on my skin? I can do this myself. Literally, I can do this myself if I wanted to. Like, I know some people are gonna be like, that's not that bad. It's really okay. Can you see how clumpy it is? Like, it's not giving. It's, ru it's really not giving. Waste an hour doing my nails. The nails is the biggest issue. So my nails are like shit. But like from a distance, it's fine. It's just like close up. Like I just need it for tonight and tomorrow. Realistically, I'm gonna take this off. I'm just annoyed. She was really lovely. Don't get me wrong. She was like so lovely. Then it wasn't an issue, but this is just something I wanted to address. I'm not ageist. But the woman who did my hair literally reminded me of like my grandma. She could, she could have been my grandmother. And she made a comment actually that was really, <laughs> like my grandma i had oil in my hair and i went in and i was like oh um i just could you please wash it twice because it was oil this woman was literally like my grandma i felt so uncomfortable asking her to wash my hair like i was like sweet old lady you know and she's washing my hair and she's like oh sorry i'm doing a bit hard this is how i do my grandchildren's hair and i was like i'm in this moment where i literally feel like i'm being bathed by my grandmother throwback it's giving throwback to when i was a child and my grandma would oil my hair or like wash out the oil from my hair so sweet but also i'm i'm uncomfortable i don't want like an, an elderly woman doing things for me it's just awkward i also got my hair extensions done i asked for a pin curl and i got it's giving prom curl ew and it smells burnt Fuck my life. I'm just gonna have to go home and do it myself, aren't I? I'm really fucking annoyed. Now I need to go home and actually eat some food. I'm gonna make some food actually, which reminds me I need some delivery some fresh chicken. Yeah, today I'm doing lymphatic drainage again. I did this last week. And like I said this before, it is so good post-op because it just drains your body of like fluids because you're always so swollen. I'm not joking, I was four kg heavier last week. 4kg and I was freaking out because I was like <gasps> I've ballooned 
but now, wow, it feels so much lighter and also it's really good to get like your blood circulation moving again because I spent a lot of time in bed. Good morning, officially 16 days post-op and today I have a jam-packed day. I've tried to film a vlog a few times, but this is like the beginning of the actual vlog. So everything you just watched was like, whatever. So today I'm getting my eyebrow tattoo removed finally also let's all say good morning to philippa the pimple on my cheek it looks like an actual mosquito bite it's like brewing under the skin oh my god these brows okay let's look at these brows horrific they are horrific i've actually shaved off the ends i haven't done them in so long no no the brows have to go the brows really do have to go and then i'm getting a lash infill the lashes are not lashing the brows are not browing. And Loki, I do want to get my lips redone again, so I might need to book in for that. I'm just feeling myself recently, even though I look like a hot mess. I just, I want to be doing things that make me feel like the best possible version of myself. And I know a lot of people are like, why are you just only doing treatments? The truth is, I only do things that make me feel good. Also, so organic uh, marketing. Also, I am so excited to introduce you guys to one of my friends who is probably not gonna be on camera, but she's actually the funniest person. We have been contemplating doing a podcast for the longest time for brown girls. There are no brown girls talking about stuff. We were gonna do it anonymously, but I feel like people already know my voice. And like, if I'm promoting it, they'll be like, Laylee, you're literally promoting yourself. A little bit late for my appointment. So let us leave, let us leave. I am also going to the gym today. I'm trying out a new gym. Eye candy always helps a workout. Everyone's like, it's not about the vibe. It's about the gym and the equipment. No, no, it's, it's literally about the vibe. It's about the people, it's about the vibe. And of course, obviously the equipment. If the gym has like a dead vibe, the people are creepy or the people are just not giving what I want them to give. I'm not motivated to work out. Like if I see a hot man, I'm like, I love checking out other hot women. Cause I'm like, wow, you're stunning. How do I become like this? Okay, so today we're doing the Pico laser on my eyebrows. Do you think I should do the full ones then if they're gonna be bleached or just the end? Mm -hmm. If it's gonna be bleached, I do the full thing. Yeah, you have it here as well. Yeah. All right, let's do the ends first and then see. Cause like the, the issue is the ends. Let's do one only. Like half. No, oh my God. <laughs> Can we do half of each and then we'll do. <laughs> Cause like, I, no, in my mind I'm like, okay, stop. And I have one eyebrow. <laughs> Okay, so for this, we need to get numbed. So full or half? Half, half, half. Where, like, the, you see where, like, the, the arch is? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we've got some lidocaine on my eyebrows. This is gonna bleach my brows. Thank God I don't have a date or anything relevant or I'm gonna see anyone. Maybe I might. I'm going to the gym after this. This could be potentially a bad idea. What if I see a cute guy at the gym? It's just going to give unhinged and like, you know what? That is me. I am unhinged. Can we do this one and then remove this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll be keeping the other one and I'll mark it first. So is the hair going to fall off or? Yes. <laughs> You'll be <bold. laughs> Maybe we should do the whole thing. <gasps> okay, let's, let's cover your eyes. Yeah. Yes, please. Two, three. It's yes. fine. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Should we do the whole thing or no point? So how long is this gonna look like this? It actually wasn't that painful, I'm not gonna lie. The lidocaine helped. Okay, that's that. My hair is white. Kind of looks a bit scabby. It wasn't actually as painful as I thought. I feel like I have more pain now. Okay, I officially look like a crazy person. Maybe I should have done the full brow. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe I should have done my full eyebrow. Why did I do this? Why do I do this to myself? What ever. Uh, oh my God. It's, <laughs> it's a disgusting fat scab. It's a huge fat scab on my... I think I'm more... Mm, I don't know what I'm more stressed out about. The white hair, which has just been done, or the scab. What looks worse? Discuss in the comments. I'm stressing out. The scab actually hurts. 
fucking hurts. I was not expecting this, to be honest. I watched someone do this and it just looked really like gentle. She had normal brows after, but I guess I went for a more extreme option. I was like, just remove it. Remove the skin, remove everything, burn it off. Now. Uh, I don't think I could give more unhinged than this right now. Thumbnail. It's really giving unhinged. I was like, I cannot go to the salon and she's gonna be putting my lashes on going, what the hell? It's a sore sight. So I basically just packed some Fusa court and some tape with me. We're gonna go get my brows, no, lashes done. And I'm just gonna keep my cap on, I think, for the duration of the day just to look a little less unhinged. I was like, maybe I should take off the nose tape, but you know what? Unhinged is my brand now, so let's let's just deal with that. So this is how I'm gonna pull up to the salon. They've already seen me in my nose bandage. No one cares, literally, it's just so... No, the glasses are doing too much. The glasses are doing way too much. <sighs> Why did I do this? It's a Wednesday, the weekend is coming up. Oh my God, where is this girl? Yeah, this is uh, my current situation. I am dying to see her reaction. She already told me I look like a patient on a plane back from Istanbul. I mean, it's giving I went to Turkey and I got surgery done. I'm getting a brow lift or whatever, but I'm actually scared to peel off these stickers. Show me my nose. Do you think I'll, will it make it less scary or should I just vibe with it? I think we should just vibe with it for now. We did have every intention of going to the gym today. We also really felt like some chicken and rice, some wholesome food, maybe some curry, maybe a nice cheeky biryani. I have no idea, but I'm also really craving some like juje, oh, some fesson june. Now we don't know what we're doing, but I also do want to take my friend to my favorite hair salon. My hairstylist has opened up his own salon, the guy I go to for my extensions. I don't want to put tapes in, but I do eventually want to put tapes in. I think maybe in like two weeks, right before my trip, maybe I'll put tapes in. But also, I do want to get a clip-in set made. Maybe a ponytail. I love tapes, but also I don't love having hair extensions. I'm really trying to grow my natural hair. It's just not doing so great. Also, forgot to mention, I just did my lashes. <laughs> I mean, I did mention I was doing my lashes, but look how cute they look. Usually I go for like the open eye, the doll eye, but this time, well, last time in fact, I said, no, we're not doing that because I was looking back at pictures and videos of myself in like 2019 and I was like, wow, why do I look so good there? Why do I look so different? Apart from the lips and the nose, the eyes were giving. And I was like, it's because I've not done the open eye shape. I have a very almondy shaped eye and I like them looking. I mean, why am I going to do all this effort of like, moving of removing my eyebrows getting a brow tail lift ponytail lift for me to just open my eyes when i really just want to have snatched eyes it's giving identity crisis it's also giving um under reconstruction potentially going through a bad breakup reinventing myself everyone's going through their own issues not that i'm saying i'm going through any issues but i could potentially be but i just don't want to talk about it let's record her reaction <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, uh, it's not that bad, come on. <laughs> Is it really bad? You just all bandaged up, you poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at us, we're too funny. Oh, wait, I just feel like shit. Are you vlogging? Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've angled it so you're not in it because, like, obviously, your voice is going to be in our podcast and huh? you're a low key girl. <laughs> So where are we eating? Right, I found this place. Yeah. I'm gonna go. It's unreal. It's called Al Basha Restaurant. Is there. it in Al Basha? No, it's here. It's just round the corner from here. Oh, I can we go like this though? Yeah, just put this hoodie on. Okay. Al Basha Restaurant. Oh, that looks awful. That's not it. So we've pulled up to the location. You can wear your sunglasses if you want. Yeah. And your cap. You can be in disguise, full disguise. Um. Halva Puri Friday special. What day is it today? I haven't had a nice Halva Puri in a while. Oh. Yes, yeah, so this is. Honey, we're in the ghetto! Yeah, what do you mean? Is what's he looking at? Yeah. He's looking at us! This is literally the ghetto. Okay. I love it. We're in the ghetto. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Oh, wait, I just turned it on. Okay, no. Um, yeah. 
this is where <laughs> this is where my friend's boyfriend brought her. This is his standard. This is what this is why I'm trying yeah. to break them up. <laughs> I feel like I'm in India, to be fair. We are the only females in this establishment. Yo, look at the prices. Wow. I'm gonna order for us, yeah? Wait, what's the special today? Ask them that. Thank you. It's honestly uh, not that bad. It's quite clean. Oh, it's very good. Wait till you try the food. update you guys on my eyebrow situation because I was not expecting this 48 hours post eyebrow removal wait wait for the close-up oh my <gasps> oh this should have come with a trigger warning I'm so sorry like they don't feel crusty but my hair has gone all white and like orange the skin has turned red. I can still kind of see the tattoo underneath. If you look there at the ends. Um, I might just start shaving. Yeah, I might just tweeze or shave off this bit. It's actually horrific. I look like I'm going through it. All in the name of beauty. I put myself through this pain. And it's making me very stressed. I'm not gonna leave the house. I'm. I. It's Friday. It's a Friday night. I mean, I did go out with a nose bandage on, which was like, whatever. I still do go out with my nose bandage on. Also, update on the restaurant. Um, I think I've got a weak stomach because I got food poisoning from that, and I'm still recovering from the food poisoning. So, um, yes, it tasted good, but probably wouldn't recommend because it wasn't very cleanly. Although I don't know, I can't say, but just it just didn't sit well with me, and I eat. Asian food a lot so it definitely wasn't oh she's just 
shocked her sister by eating some spicy food. No, it's just me. I'm just having a bad month. Just look, watch me in June, July. I'll be thriving. I'll be glowing. May? No. May, I'm I'm gonna come down. Oh my God, these eyebrows. Um, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I don't actually know how long it is, but if it's not long enough, then I'll just continue. But bye. Thanks for watching. Okay. Day three post eyebrow removal. This is what they look like. Crusty. Not really. I mean, that white stuff is like a mixture of white hair and cream that I've been applying. I leave these on, I leave the cream on throughout the evening. But also it is officially three weeks since I did my nose. I love her. Honestly, I didn't think it was such a big difference until I actually looked at older pictures of myself and I was like, wow, the tip really transformed my face. It's still swollen, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I still have no sensation on my tip. I mean, it's still a bit hard, but I do massage it every day. And I've got my follow-up consultation today, so I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna see how that goes. And then I might be doing something fun in the evening with my <laughs> friends. See the bio light video and I'm wearing a cap? It's because that's not the vibe. <laughs> we're talking about the nose. We're not focusing on the eyebrows. The eyebrows are not, they're not relevant. Also, I am obsessed with this bag. I am fully obsessed with this bag. It's not very practical, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of things have fallen out and it doesn't hold a whole lot, but she is fucking beautiful. I'm obsessed with this chain. It just gives every boring black outfit that I wear a little bit of an edge. Okay, so I was like, mom, why are my eyebrows looking like this? And she's like, listen, everywhere else does a very mild laser um, peel thing very minimal tissue damage which means that you're not going to get much results and they just want you to keep paying keep going back so you come to buy like you do one session and you're good babe um yeah i mean i'm gonna have this look for about two weeks apparently potentially six do have a holiday booked but it's fine okay so this is my one month post-op consultation ah, i'm living for this nose stop